I love bike packing the Arizona Trail. Mm-hmm. I'm scared about tomorrow, man. Oh, uh, tomorrow is gonna be worse than today. Arizona, man. It's gonna clock all the time. <laughs> Oh God. All right, this is getting exciting and kind of tense. We got half an hour to our pickup. We're furiously packing. We are alarmed by the amount of shit we are taking. Do you think this is our biggest carry the whole trip? This should be equal to our longest resupply. All right. Our shuttle has arrived. There are two shit boxes um, and we told them we were bringing bikes. I don't know how we're getting them in there. One of them is a two door, which is spectacular, but we're gonna make it work, I guess. That was always an adventure. <laughs> uh, how do we encapsulate the last piece of the puzzle to get to the start of the Arizona Trail? Uh, well, we arranged a shuttle with Steven. That shuttle was a clapped out Hyundai X <laughs> Accent and a Volkswagen Jetta. Steven, you did it! Hey, we made it. What's going on in the front of your car here? What do you mean? The light bar. Oh. You put that in? It's because my headlights don't work, so I put that on and it turns night into day. Well, thanks for getting us to the start, dude. You're welcome, man. Uh, the road in is would generally not support both of those vehicles. Freshly graded. Thankfully. Say, but but this last wash, cross leak, they did pretty awesome for a wheeling through there. Yeah. Like to drive fast. We may have got air at one point. Oh yeah. And, Steven uh, did for sure. Oh, Steven. <laughs> Steven. <laughs> Uh, and then we got a rundown on Steven's handgun. All right, so what do you got there? It's a Taurus G2C compact nine millimeter. Uh, nice. Safety's right here, which yeah. is convenient. Yeah. What's the Wait. caliber of that, sir? Nine millimeter. Nine mil, okay. Bulldog holster. You just... Damn, that looks intense, so you dude. You can't yeah. just pull it out. You got to push the button to pull it out. So. Safe. Yeah. But we're here and we're like on time. Let me show you something. So this here, See all that? Yeah. Come on, get in focus. Yeah, that's part of Steven's car <laughs> that was just rubbing up against yep. this very sh sharp thing. And when I pulled the bike out, it was embedded deep into the side of his car. He didn't care. Zero fucks. No, no, no. They were definitely more worried about our bikes than their vehicles. Yes. So props. Props to them. Yeah. Steven and Ben were awesome. Yep. We are at State Line campground on the border of Utah and Arizona. The beginning of the southbound Arizona Trail, which I am going to be doing with Johnny. This is a reminder. Quite possibly the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> hardest day I've ever put in on a bike or maybe anything. Maybe we'll beat that this trip. <laughs> Trying to get to the north rim of the Grand Canyon by tomorrow night. Um, so we got about 120 K to get through in the next couple of days, which with any luck will be doable or well, I guess we'll we're find about to out. find out. But I just want to say what you were about to witness is the tip 
of the iceberg. There's been so much work. The training. We sewed all our own bags. All of the technical planning. Logistics. Talking about it for years. Yep. Uh, Getting a month off work isn't easy. Went away from the families who we kidding. really appreciate. Yes. Thank you, loved ones. We love yep. you. Yeah, so this is Real Talk on the Arizona Trail. Yep. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. All right. All right. Let's go do it. Woo! stopped for some water at the trough here. There wasn't any water in the trough, but there's lots of snow. We just packed our bladders full of snow. And I figure we've got to have gone at least 30K now, right? Oh, we've gone over that. Okay, good. We've gone over 30K. Yay. We're trying to get to 60. Five o'clock. Day one. Day one. We have a long way to go. We're hitting a wall. Yep. Fucking tired. Our classic. Oh, we'll take it easy the first day. <laughs> and then we got to find out what the trail's actually like. Yeah. Okay. It's 5.30. We're walking our bikes. Johnny's cramping pretty hard. Arizona Trail. Day one. Type two fun. <laughs> We've got the tank. Johnny's getting rid of water before putting more water in. We're gonna go up there, camp up there. Woo! Yeah, boy! Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a good tank. That's pretty clear. Okay, hike a bike. All right, we made it to the top of that outcrop. Sun is just setting. It's warmer up here. It's pretty flat. I think we're gonna have a good fucking night up here. Woo! Oh fuck man, I was so happy to see that tank. It was like an oasis. <laughs> it was an oasis. Dude, it was a hard day. Yeah, just a long day yeah. after a day of kind of shit. Yeah. Hard day, but doable. No. Yeah. yeah. Let's go get camped up. <laughs> All right, morning, day two. 
It's quite cold. It's also very windy. Today, if all goes well, we get to the north rim of the Grand Canyon, which is super exciting. Back at the watering hole. That's ice. Pre-filtering our water. So Johnny with a 3D printer put on a, a filter there. I'm a little squeezy, short and easy. I suck and I blow, you can call me sleazy. But if you get thirsty and don't want it dirty, push my head down till I get bursty. You can treat me mean, but I'll stay clean. I can go 800 miles if you know what I mean. Now, I'll do the trick and I'll do it quick. Use me hard unless you want to get sick. When this will get rid of all the stuff that'll clog the filter, and then this will, this filter will take out all of the cryptosporidium and Giardia and that sort of stuff. I don't worry much when you go out. You come home with something we don't talk about. Hiding from yourself when you speak loud. Tell me I'm the problem. Tell me who cares. I don't think about you. Dark last night, too cold this morning, but I gotta make sure I'm brushing my hair. Gotta spend a little mullet maintenance time. Look at those locks, it's beautiful. You know, if you look your best, you'll feel your best. Telephone Hill, which is pretty close to the top of where we've been trying to climb to. It's really windy. Like we can't go fast, we can't go like strong. We just feel always weak and slow. We're at like, we've been riding for four hours and we're probably at a kilometer 28, 27. We're suffering. And I think what we realized is uh, we're at 9,000 feet. Uh, we're like 2,600 meters or something like that. Uh, and we're suffering from altitude. We're at the eastern rim of the Grand Canyon. We're about 40k in of our 70k day. It's two o'clock. 
probably tight on time again. It's been hard. The wind has just been relentless. The climbing, you know, we're 40 km, we're well over a thousand meters of climbing. Everybody's favorite, hike a bike. But at least it's out of the wind. And it's official, it is hailing. What's going on? <laughs> Venture. Arizona, baby. Arizona. All right, so here we are at the north rim of the Grand Canyon. We pushed through a lot of trail to a 70 kilometer an hour headwind. Yep. Maybe more, maybe oh. 80. Whatever 50 miles is. 50 miles, which is 80, <laughs> I guess. Um, we were not feeling very happy. We were beaten down again. So we decided to drop down to the road, thinking the road would at least be easier. The headwind on the road was, you guys. It was insane. Yeah. It sucked. Like four kilometers. We were riding four kilometers an hour. Yeah, it sucked. On pavement that was flat. Yes. Uh, but then we stuck our thumbs out. Yes. The truck stopped. Yes. With a full-size box. Yes. Alan. Alan. The ranger at Grand Canyon National Park, North Rim. Yes, Alan. Love picked him. us up, offered us pizza, then drove us to get our campsite spot. Yeah. Which he claims is the nicest campsite in the United States, and I might believe him. Yeah. A day that was pretty dark around yeah. 2 o'clock got a whole lot better at 3 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because today was crazy. We In 40K, we had done, what, 1,200 meters of climbing? I think we finished with 14. Yeah, in 40 kilometers. Yeah, it's intense. Into, into headwinds. We were pedaling on the yeah. downhills. All right. The dining room. Ain't no party like a bathroom party. We decided while our dinners are cooking and it's really windy and it's really cold out there. It is pretty miserable. The wind, the temperature I can live with, the wind is tough. Yeah. I think I might go take a shit. It's like 6.45 p.m. Just going to bed. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. We start our descent into the Grand Canyon, which should be uh, an adventure. Let's see, day three of like insanity adventure. Let's see how it goes. Night, night. So it is morning of day three, it is below zero, and I have been sleeping with an enormous, enormous amount of things to keep things warm. Filter, the phone, which is filming right now, the brick, the GoPro, it's chilly, but time to get up. So today's a big day for us. And we have to hike our bikes basically straight across to there. Yeah, right there. That is the South Rim. That's about 40K. Today we're only going to do about 22 or something like that. But today will be all down and then tomorrow will be all up. So we're going to camp down at the bottom of the canyon. Really looking forward to that. Heard a lot about how hard this is. It'll be interesting to see um, how much suffering happens today. Putting our bikes on. It's probably going to be a hard day. 
heading down the path. It's definitely downhill. You can see the trail all the way down there. Super fun. You guys are garble. <laughs> Where are you mountain biking? To Mexico. Holy shit. Yeah. It's a bit of a mish. Yes. How you doing? This is something. <laughs> yep. All right. Been going for about an hour now. I'm ready for a break. I'm gonna try and get down to that bridge. I'm dropping steadily down. And it's beautiful. Got to remember to keep looking. I made it to the bridge. Some good views. Go, Johnny! This is pretty badass. So we're going about 4K an hour, which is pretty good. It's about as fast as I think we can expect. It's a pretty cool experience so far. Yeah, boy. Woo! Oh my goodness. Yeah, this one's pretty heinous. Just continuing our descent down through some junipers now. And it's pretty janky through here. It's starting to be hard though, just in case you're wondering. Well, I think we're getting close to water. Yeah, it was just past here. Perfect. We're about 10K in, about halfway, getting there. Gone down nonstop for the last three hours. Having a little bit of a break, a well-earned break. We've done those three hours in two stretches, which is pretty good. I'm not sure how long I can maintain that. We'll see, the terrain I think will dictate. My feet are hurting. Johnny's back hurting. Oh, yeah, but it's a beautiful day, it's warmed up. It has been stunning, like just oh, yeah. unbelievable. Well, you have to occasionally remind yourself just to look up. Easy but does it, buddy. Easy does it. You got it, man. Come on. Nice. Nice. It's getting hard. We're getting to the part where I'm like, oh, fuck, this actually really sucks. Yeah, just kind of undulating up and down, up and down. The train's not too bad. It's just like the, it's just the cumulative time with all the shit on your back. All right, I don't know what time it is. 3.41. 3.41. We've got another 6K? 5K. 5K, which sounds like nothing, <laughs> but that'll be at least two trips, at least two pickups and goes. It's living up to the billing. The first 10 were pretty easy. They're fresh. It's yeah. all the steps. Yeah. Now the feet are taking it to Oh, my feet are just fucking... Uh, all I'm doing is looking where I'm putting them and not trying to put them on anything sharp. All right, we just did an hour long push. It was hard. We covered some good distance. It sounds like we did 4K. We have about a K left, which hopefully we can bang off. In an hour. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm fucking tired, dude. Oh, exhausted. Feet destroyed. Yeah. Destroyed. I am literally scared to take my shoes off. Yeah. I'm scared about tomorrow, man. Oh, uh, tomorrow is gonna be worse than today. Yeah, I am a little worried. Fuck me. All right, we have made it to Bright Angel Campground. Oh, can barely walk. 
Very tired. Day four. Day four. Another daunting day <laughs> ahead of us. We're gonna climb out of the Grand Canyon. Yesterday, it's pretty bad. The amount of blisters. Oh, look at that guy. It's like I got a thumb on my foot. Yeah, I think the feet are gonna be the, the, the thing that's gonna suffer uh, on this section of the Arizona Trail for sure. But it's 8 a.m. We have 10 hours, 10 hours of light which it actually is probably going to be cutting it close. I would not be surprised. By the time, if we actually want to find a camp spot. Oh, yeah. I think if we get out of the rim and it's still light out, that's going to be a win. But a great spot. Beautiful camp drive. Yeah, look at that river. Have not swam in it, which is a crime, but... All right, well, let's go suffer. We're on the Bright Angel Camp, uh, Bright Angel Trail, and about to do something significant. Cross the Colorado River. Here we go. Oh, okay. Apparently, I'm going to be doing this sideways. <laughs> this is great. Going to enjoy this. Uh. <laughs> but there it is, the Colorado River in all its glory. This is the Colorado River. It's just spectacular. So we're now leaving the Grand Canyon. Some rafting, looks like fun. It's always been on my bucket. And now it looks like we're gonna go up. We are hiking up towards Indian Garden on the Bright Angel or Angel Bright Path. Ooh, there's a big one. So we were down there. Now we're up here. We started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now Johnny and I are here. Look at that. Beautiful. Good morning. Morning. Howdy. Howdy. How are you guys doing? Good. Is this my plan or? Yeah, yeah. Wheels aren't allowed to touch the ground, so if you want to go through it, you got to carry it. Good for you, man. Look at that view, though. Crazy. Very, very lucky to be able to do this. And we came from all the way down there. Like, that that's the plateau. There's like another plateau over there. We came from all the way down there. And presumably, we have to get like, I don't know, that high or so. Probably a lot more. Which is hard. Is it fun? <laughs> is it hard? <laughs> It's pretty spectacular. And I have to say, I don't know what's still coming, but going up is way better than going down. I feel good today, I feel strong. Sure, it's tiring, but nothing. Like the pain that going down bequeathed me. Ugh. I don't know if I'll ever be able to step down without groaning. We're sore. Johnny's high on ibuprofen. I have to say, coming up with all these people has been pretty great because they're like your cheerleaders. Yeah, oh yeah, it's just everyone yeah. cheers you on. Yeah, it's pretty great. Damn you little steps. You can do anything but step down. We have made it to Indian Garden, which is a beautiful, beautiful spot. Um, campgrounds here have been ridiculous. And the fact that we're here means we're halfway. Legit, halfway. It's a pretty beautiful trail. Nice boy. It sure is pretty up here. All right, we're being forced to go back <laughs> because of horses, which is hilarious. Holy fuck. Hello. You got it. Happy trails. Same to you. Impressive. You Very too. Impressive. Well, that looks 
hard. It is. You're the last one? Yes, sir. Thank you, partner. All right. You know a tunnel. We're getting close. Getting so close. Okay. This is it. The finale. Finito. Holy smokes. Yes. All right. Well, I did it. Made it to the top. It was really hard. Really, really hard. Holy smokes, did it though. That was hard. Day one was definitely harder than day two. Today was just a matter of doing it. Medicine, that's what you fuck with the three and you. Oh, 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 oh. I don't wanna die alone, but I'm living in a hell. I take my hand off the gun, cause I do not trust myself. And I feel for all your reasons, the chemicals, not my feelings. So we've left the uh, rim. Uh, the southern rim of the Grand Canyon, and we're now on this lovely, I will say it, lovely paved path down to Tusayan. Finished our groceries at Tusayan, and we're going to quickly set up camp before it gets too dark and enjoy a well-deserved rest. All right. All right, it is morning of day five. We had a good sleep, no interruptions, except for at about 6 a.m., which is still dark at this point. A truck came driving through here. I had to move my tent pegs. He was out hunting. Didn't hear any gunshots, so I don't think he got them. And how are the legs feeling today? At this exact moment, they're feeling great because I'm not moving. <laughs> Definitely a little sore from the Grand Canyon. It could take a couple days to recover from that masochistic adventure but today we are going towards flagstaff it's 120k to flagstaff we're not doing it today we're hoping this will be a bit of a recovery ride to make up for the yesterday and the day before that and the day before that and we hope that this will be a flowy trail and it'll actually be mountain biking today which will be pretty exciting Let it go. 
that mountain over there I think is Snowball at Flagstaff. Yep. And that's where we're headed. We're making our way through today, which has been great for a recovery ride. We're probably around 60k in. And uh, we've got about an hour and 15 before we decide to set up camp. And you leave me now, now Some fucking lesson And you figure it out Some kind of obsession And you leave me now, now Some fucking lesson The day we wanted, yeah. the day we needed. We put our most distance in today and it was a recovery day. And we still climbed 750 meters. Yeah, yeah. Gray trail from Tucson to here. We're partway through the Babbitt Ranch section. Great trail. Uh, the feet made trying to avoid hike a bike. That's right. Not getting off this bike. It's way harder to walk. It is way harder to walk. Show me your feet. Let me see these blisters. Oh. <laughs> You, you gotta get closer. That, yep. Dude, that is spectacular. I have one on each foot like that. <laughs> it's just a sack of water. <laughs> That's what I mean, like it just shakes. And I thought mine were bad. The side of this toe. <laughs> All of those. All of those. It's like a little roll of blisters. Like the thing that like would be a standard blister. <laughs> Can't even feel that. The one on the end of the big toe is like a second toe. <laughs> <laughs> you got more on the other foot? Yeah, it's pretty much a, a repeat. <laughs> it's kind of bad to be reminded of just how bad they are. Oh, dude. So hopefully tomorrow. Also, pedaling and not walking. My knee. This knee has not been help working properly. I'm hoping that another night of rest will make it feel better. So all in all, a good day. Great day. Yeah.
Okay, morning of day six. It is a beautiful morning. We've had cows mooing the whole night. But day six, we got smarter. We have decided to camp facing the east, which means that we can take advantage of first light, get up early. And we got to get to that mountain basically today. I've been thinking about what makes these trips enjoyable and what doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the first few days always is a remembering of what makes that happen. So we decided to have a nice relaxed morning, but still be able to push off by 8 a.m. Ride till 4 p.m. Yeah, so eight hours. Eight hours. Stop. When we've been stopping at 5, we've been setting up in the dark. Yeah. All right, well, let's go get it, baby. All right. Woo! We just learned a valuable lesson here. We rode off the trail to get to a water station and we got all these goat head embedded in our tires. Some of them are deep enough to have the sealant do what sealant needs to do. Ow, fuck. And they're super sharp. It's crazy <laughs> how many I picked up. This is just the front tire. It's gonna be a 10 minute job. How can there be this many? Ever, ever ride off the trail nope all right that's the front tire so this is our water spot our first water spot of the day which is really quite unique but check this out it's very cool and then you just grab that pull it up throw it in and then you got like you don't even need to like filter this water it's it's so nice we want to go for a swim Situation. So I'm testing my patience, man. Just keeping me up all night. Cause you only get so far reading faces. We were off to the races, and I thought to myself, hold tight. You see, there was just this one complication. She was already taken, and what was so wrong felt so right. She said, No need to be looking over your shoulder. When you can just come over. So we've been climbing for the last 20 kilometers. It was a pretty mellow climb the entire time. So we were able to maintain basically 10 kilometers an hour, more or less, yeah. um, to get up to the top, which is fantastic. You know, you give Imba shit all the time. Those were some beautiful climbing yeah. switchbacks. Yeah, was, yeah. Um, so now we're gonna bomb down to as close to Flagstaff as we can get to and set up camp. Yep. What is it, two o'clock? It's two o'clock. Two o'clock, we still got two hours of riding. What you say is true There'll be no getting over you Slowly they'll play it by the rules If you're a joker then I'm a fool I guess there's no catching up to you You don't want my affection Don't lie to me All right, Johnny, how was today? Today was a good day. We haven't seen anybody else do, 
bike pack in the old AZT. No, even here where this is right close to Flagstaff, this is the first time that we've seen anybody riding. Yep. All right. Well, good day, day six. Good day. Yep. And we caught. We were we're over three hundred kilometers now, which is good considering the Grand Canyon was. It took us two days to do thirty k. Now we're hopefully going to enjoy sunset. Day seven. We haven't done much of a video update. Bet the morning shopping in Flagstaff. Had a good breakfast at Martins. Martins. And now we're just trying to get as far away from Flagstaff as we can. It's been variable the terrain. Variable. It's uh, some beautiful flowing single track through the forest. Nasty climb out of a canyon, this mesa, which is a mesa. Yeah, bumpy, getting a good ass tenderizing. You guys going to Mexico? Woohoo! That's Johnny going to go get water for us. Water is really scarce in this section. We looked at the puddles. They were disgusting. Go Johnny! It's three o'clock. It's at the end of the day. So we're just going to get this water and uh, find a decent place to camp. Before we got into the trail, I was like, oh my God, I got to have water. If we're not near water, we're going to die. Kind of mentality. If not near water. Um, but you know where water is, then things are okay. We're gonna get water, probably have like four liters of water for the night, and that should be enough to get to the next spot if it's within 20K. Still walking there. It's very glamorous, the way we're living. Okay, Johnny, the hero that he is, got water, and unfortunately, it's kind of gross. But it's the only water for quite a few kilometers, so we're going to try and filter it. So what uh, my plan here is that we've taken some of these, I cut the top off, I put it in here, so it's basically just cut it and put it in here, and then I'm gonna put this cloth in and then I'm going to pour the water in there and with any luck we'll get clear water in there we'll see stay tuned okay so the water's going the water's going in there and it's coming out kind of the same brown color at the bottom okay 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 so water gate day seven I've abandoned the filtering I didn't do anything there was no sediment in the cloth which is crazy so we've got this turbid water we have dropped four tablets into it, um, which is what is required for four liters. And that's just under four liters. So we should be good. We're going to let this sit overnight and see if anything happens from a sediment perspective. Stay tuned for more. Okay, water update. Day two, we let it sit all night to no effect. But again, it has been treated. We have learned that our amazing inline filters actually filter it clean. Now I've already got chocolate milk in there, hot chocolate in there. So it's not a great example. But you can see those clear. clear. You can see it's clear. Clear. It just takes forever. Yeah, dirty. dirty. Clear. So there you go, water solved. Yay, science. Another beautiful morning. Um, 
yeah, I don't know what else to say about day eight. It's another day. Do you see those deer just run by us? Yeah. I love that mule deer. Doing, doing, doing. Oh, give us your bow. Give us your bow. If you know what's good for you. Oh, give us your bow. Give us your bow. If you know what's good for you. Well, this is hard going. Yep. And the trail has got a new personality, aggressive. <laughs> We've been climbing and it has been boulder rock strewn. Even on the downhills, it's been hard to find momentum. Yeah, it's punishing. I think we'll be tired today. Yep. Still making forward progress. Yeah, for sure. Temperature is beautiful. Yeah, great riding temps. Beautiful day. You don't need to change your future. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Who's a beautiful snake? We have been seeing this guy all along the trail. Because of the ears, it kind of looks like a rabbit. So we've been calling it a squabbit because it's like a squirrel and a rabbit. But we now have a name. It's the Aberts or Aberts squirrel. I like squabbit better. What about you? Squabbit is far catchier. It describes what it is. Yeah, Aberts. Doesn't even look like an Abert. Aberts, it's not even a word. Okay. We're here at a tank, which is where we've seen a lot of tanks. We've gotten a fair amount of water from tanks, but the water here is pretty good, despite, uh, you can see how clear that is. So you can see lots of cattle have been down here. So the water definitely, want, you want to treat that water. This is all cow shit all along here, 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 here. There's cow shit there. I'm sure there's lots of cow shit in the water. Yeah. But it's been a pretty good source. Um, better than yesterday's chocolate milk, that's for sure. doing there Johnny? Making a little supper of ramen. 
snack sticks. Nice. And uh, cheese. Which you're just, I noticed, biting off and spinning in there like a mama bird? <laughs> I was just thinking it's the mama bird strategy. Yeah. It's very gourmet. My food. It's all going back in here. <laughs> hey, it was a good day. Yeah. We rode Mormon Mountain, most of Happy Jack, probably some other stuff. It was rough in parts. It started off pretty rough. It started off very rough. And I was it like, ended very flowy. This Mormon Mountain, actually, I think we actually started with a really big climb. Elk are bugling around us. Yep. We have basically ridden on dirt for the last, I don't know, eight days. Eight days, yeah. And barely even any double track. Yeah, just crazy. Eight days straight. Pretty awesome. Yeah. So there's like a herd of elk outside our tent right now, and you can hear them running around. Because all of a sudden they'll get some sort of need to move, and they'll all hear this bum, 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 and you hear the herd go one way. It's been happening all night. It's very cool. Beautiful night, beautiful sleep, beautiful herd of elk surrounding us, bugling all night. <laughs> sure were. I got to know the different calls. Yep. Yeah. It's pretty cool, pretty magical night. <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, yeah, it started off mellow and it went all night. Yeah. All right, day nine, beautiful day. We're going to try and make it to Payson. Looking for love. Looking for love at the Love Motel. For the day, but still you wait till I'm ready to float and carry me home. We'll be alright. I know I'm laying in the world is on fire. We'll be dreading it. Lay away till I'm ready to float and carry me home. And we're dancing on the side in the purple dark by the blood that we can shed on the wood for I know that you can. Some trails we have to walk down. It's pretty rare, but here we are. <laughs> we are. This is a great trail. Yep. Yep. I will gladly go slow to ride trail like this. Yeah, totally. Because we're actually riding, even though we're walking this part. But we've been, <laughs> yeah, we've been, we've been riding except this part. Rest assured, we only walked that one little spot. Don't worry. Yeah, boy! Hey there, I'm Johnny. I'm Team Volet Strap. They're just so darn uh, handy to use. They're 
uh, versatile. I've used them for a whole bunch of different things on this trip. They're rubberized, so you get some grip. You can really cinch them down. How many volley straps you got on your rig? Let's just count the front of my bike. <laughs> okay. One, two. Yeah. There's actually two here. Three, four. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Six. Okay, green, yeah. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got, no, I've got two spares in my bag. That's a big investment. Volley straps aren't cheap, dude. I found a bunch on sale. I probably yeah. have... Probably have about a hundred bucks worth of volley straps. All right, and you swear by them. Swear by them because, uh, like, they're great for this. They're light, and you know, I just like them too because, like, outside of this trip, I've used these for a bunch of different things. I have a broken clasp on my toolie box. It's in the back corner, so it's not that important. So I just use a volley strap. Mm -hmm. Three clamps and a volley strap. Just everything. They're just super handy. So right. yeah, I just like them. A bit of an investment. It lasts. It's not a it's not a throwaway. Okay, how many zip ties you got on your bike? Zero. All right, my name's Ben and I'm on Team Zip Tie. Don't go for any of that volley strap shit. All right, also sticking with the front of my bike. We'll start up down here. I have four holding on my uh, Continental mud guard that I made. I've got two here. One is holding this from sliding down, but also holding this piece of wood that I've decided I am going to take on this incredible voyage. Because why not add weight? One here holding, unfortunately, one of my straps uh, came apart, so I got a zip tie holding that. Then I've got two here um, for the GoPro that the GoPro mount came off. So two zip ties came in and they're holding that in place. Then, uh, down here where I had my water bottle malfunction, I've got two holding it on to the brazons, and one actually holding the bottle. And then I have another one holding this on on the other side. You can't really see it, but it's just oh, it made for a handy way of keeping this from flapping around. So that is 13 zip ties. Yep. But Ben, yes. isn't that wasteful? Don't you have to cut those zip ties every time you want to change anything? No, I've got fancy zip ties. Uh, so they have a little tab right here on the back. It's just as easy as that. Just do 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 do. I use zip ties for almost everything. But I have no volet straps on my bike, only zip ties. And I know that I spent less than a dollar. <laughs> It would appear something just as steep was waiting for us on the other side of that riverbed. We are seriously hike-a-biking straight up. It's intense, but I actually don't hate it. I'm kind of enjoying this trail. It's nice and masochistic. Yes. That's the stuff. All right, we just rode down this massive steep canyon wall here, which was super fun. We're continuing down for another two and a half, then we got to climb for two and a half. Just had a little bit of lunch. Trail's pretty good, eh? Yeah, it's been awesomely fun, old school tech. Yeah. Blue Ridge, pretty good. Guess this is the double black connector. <laughs> It is pretty full on. It's pretty full on for this bike track. This trail has turned out to be quite lovely. Completely different personality now. Climb so far has been quite moderate, unlike other sections of the trail. If we wanted, we could go that way. That's an eight hour hike a bike. Um, we are choosing not to do that. We think it's a rather smart decision. We could just pop down this road here and end up in, what's the name of the town? Payson. Payson. And we skip that hike a bike or we skip the hike a bike slash wilderness detour from uh, Pine yeah. to Payson. So this seemed like a win. Yeah, we skipped like 16 hours of hike a bike basically by doing this. It's a pretty smart play. And we're gonna go to a 
the motel. We rode the 20K, which was a hard 20K. There was a lot of climbing. Into a headwind? Into a headwind, of course. But we made it into Payson, and now we're just uh, having some Gatorades, and we're going to try and find a motel. Just checked into Quality Inn. I got a bunch of laundry there, soaking. But the socks, the socks, my trail socks are a special. They got their own sink. I've done one quick soak and you can see they're disgusting. You should smell them, they're disgusting. I'm disgusting. Okay, this is the second rinse. And you can see that water is still filthy. <laughs> These socks. I should really just burn them, but they're still good. They're just filthy. Okay. This is the third rinse. It's still disgusting. Good as it gets. Updates coming along nicely. Still got some liquid in there. This blister is peeled. How are you? Clean. Yeah, it rained last night. Yeah, so this was a really good plan. Who knows what shape the trails are in? Yeah, so I think today we can do a quick bypass of some trail in the morning to let that dry out. Rejoin the trail at Sunflower. High fives. It definitely rained last night, holy smokes. All right, so this is Jeremiah. Hello. He's giving us a lift down to Sunflower. We much appreciate it. Also a rider. It's funny, you know, we've been riding since Utah and we've been riding in a pine forest the entire time. I thought I was in Arizona. Well, this doesn't feel like Arizona. Yeah, it also just changes. It's rain just changes. Yeah. Got some big hills here too. All right, show me what we got here, Johnny. This is the nicest trail magic we've seen on the Arizona Trail. Thank you, trail magic magicians. Going underneath the highway right now. And behold, the Arizona Trail. Watch out, that looks pokey. It's all so sharp. Ow, ow. Dude, you dropped gummies the whole way. Not only did I just wipe out, but even more disastrous, I can see gummies littering the trail here. <laughs> Having fun? Yeah, it's a big shift from yesterday's ride. If we went from forest to everything being pokey. <laughs> but look at this beautiful stream. Yeah. It's a bit of a push. Very nice. There's barbed wire running right beside it. This is an embarrassment of a trail. I don't know how they can call it a trail. It's fucked. I mean, like, do some fucking maintenance on your trails. been like this the entire time. I don't mind climbing, but maintain your fucking trail. Look at this shit. 
It is not rideable. Looks like the rest of the trail. <laughs> nice. And it's equally shitty coming up. Looks pretty normal to me. I understand there was a fire here and this caused all this erosion. <laughs> but like maybe just recommend the trail not be ridden until it's actually a trail again. Yeah. You know, when we were talking about, we were like, you know, there will be those heinous hike a bike sections. We're in one right now. Yeah. Hour three. If you can see him there's Johnny pushing up his bike we're just constantly going up through just some heinous heinous trail ah, thankfully I'm still in good spirits because of the beauty of the desert hi, hi Johnny I fucking hate this trail but it's pretty I got all these thorns in me from Vegetation, I gotta keep pulling out. Just pull those things out. Make some space for the next ones. That may go down as the worst trail I have ever ridden. You got this. Whop. I guess fist bumps are in order. I mean transfusion. Oh I know, I got it. <laughs> it's like a full on tour. Johnny you're gaining on him all right after 20 kilometers of arduous arduous hike a bike and road oh we find ourselves at the wildlife tank good old water where would we be without it all right way off in the distance there-ish. You'll see some water. That's where we were hoping to get to today. But it's probably only three hours of light left or so. It's 3.30. <laughs> um, don't think we're going to make it. Some days go to plan, some days don't. Yeah. Yeah, we've been climbing since 10 a.m. Since 10 a.m. Five and a half hours. <laughs> With probably some more coming. was going to take a, a quick sponge bath but we had a great discovery that this is actually a hot spring so this is going to be a, a fine fine uh sponge bath here in the desert yeah, great campsite hot springs yeah already forgot about the crappy totally yeah yeah we got a nice little setup here it's going to be a good night i think
Arizona man. It's gonna clock all the time. <laughs> we can hold one hand up for tomorrow. We can hold one hand up to the stars. We can be the change that you want to see. Just don't give up on me. So this is Brendan. We were riding by, we heard some shots. He's generously offered to let us take a round or two, which is very generous. All right, Johnny's up. Boom. Nice shooting, Tex. All right, shooting. I think you're high into the right. Bam, there you got her. <laughs> God, that's the nicest shooting gun. Yeah. Matt, this is making the trip <laughs> uh pretty special out here johnny this is uh gorgeous yeah the rock out here yeah the cactus you know what that is man that's art that took like millions of years i fucking love it we can hold one hand up for tomorrow Okay, we're at Pebble Beach Recreational Area, just outside of Mesa. Mesa. A lot of picnic pavilions, pretty hot. Thank God they got these. There's a river right over there. So we're hoping to grab some water before we continue on into Apache Junction, which is like 13 kilometers, probably over one of those mountain thingies there. Water spot today looking mighty fine. Very nice. Looks like there's some people fishing and stuff. Unfortunately, I think my leg modeling days are behind me. It'll change your life, it'll change your life. Oh, it'll change your life, it'll change your life. Oh, it'll change your life, it'll change your life. We're hiding underneath this tree. It's desert hot now. Full sun, <coughs> climbing up. We're making progress. It's all good. It's all good, man. It'll change your life. It'll change your life. Oh. It'll change your life. It'll change your life. Oh. It'll change your life, it'll change your life. Ooh. It'll change your life, it'll change your life. Oh my. It'll change your life, it'll change your life. Oh my. It'll change your life, it'll change your life. Oh. Okay, I think it's probably just about five, maybe a little bit after five. We finally made camp in this gorgeous spot with cacti everywhere and it's hot. It's gonna be a canopy off night tonight for me anyways. Gonna be sleeping staring at that guy, which is pretty dope-alicious. 
Now you have to be careful as you walk along because there's mini cactus everywhere and there's like cactus pretty much everywhere. Today had a lot of variety. It really did. It took us 83K to hit trail today. All So the reason we were riding so much on the road is because we needed to avoid the Tonto Wilderness area. Fives of highs. Five. Woo! Very cool. How cool is that? So many cool things here. Well, bath time. Is that aliens? So we're, at, we're out here scorp hunting, and we think we might have found one. It's the bright thing in there. Ooh. It's like predator. Yeah. That's totally a scorp. All right, well, let's get it out of there. <laughs> let's get it. <laughs> look, look, look at oh, dude. <laughs> get those fucking things off of you. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is so cool. Look at its little tail. Damn, that thing is tiny. Whoa, it's coming right for us, dude. Oh my God. Dude, I can't believe this is working. <laughs> <laughs> the desert is a magical place. Like, I wonder, dude, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna switch to the other light just to see yeah. what color it is. Good idea. How do you do that? Whoa, you can bear, I don't even know where that guy is anymore. That is dope. <laughs> Love the desert, man. <laughs> I've never seen a scorpion before. Nor have I. Good morning, day 12. I had a heavenly sleep last night. Such a great view from the tent. This cactus kept me company all night. We got morning doves and other birds that live in the cactus coming and going. We're riding to Queen Valley. Looking forward to some fantastic trail after all this road. Just uh, wrapping up your drumstick there, Johnny. Why haven't I been doing this every gas station? I guess up till now, it's been freezing every night. That's true. It might have been part of a, I think from now on. It's officially ice cream weather. Alright, so we're in the back of a pickup truck. We're hitching in the Superior, which is not far, but every little bit counts. And it's hot all the time. And it's super hot. And we're off. Alright, Johnny, so we're at the Circle K in Superior. Superior. 
across the way from the world's smallest museum. So we don't have to go all the way back, we can kind of like intercept. Well, at least we don't have to go back on the highway. And apparently we got some good single track ahead. Okay, we got lots of water here. We are on a connector trail to the Arizona Trail. So basically now we're just looking for a good place to camp. All right, uh, on that trail, my water bladder broke. So we've headed back to the highway and get some more water. All right, we made it to Picket Post Trailhead. You signed the uh, registry? Signed the registry. All right, Johnny, so uh, you've come to a decision today? Yep, I have one remaining blister from the uh, Grand Canyon. So uh, we're getting rid of it. Oh, let me get in there for a tidy. Uh, oh, I better not get too close. It could spur. It, it, it could spur. It could be a spur. <laughs> and for, again, for those of you watching at home, I am a doctor. That is fucking, that's a tumor. <laughs> that's a tumor blister. Dude, you gotta like put a big hole in that sucker. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's a gusher. <laughs> Running, <sighs> bike packing. What a dream! <laughs> Spectacular. I just do it for the crowds. <laughs> I know you had a low point or two today. When I was randomly throwing rocks. <laughs> Why are you randomly throwing rocks? I think at that point the extra water that I had strapped to my handlebars had come falling off and right. we were riding some not a trail yes. to superior to try to get back to the trailhead. We had a tough day today. Yep. Positive side. Lots of positives. We're on great trail now. Yeah. We've got a great campsite. Yep. We got food. Yep. You know the garden that we rode through this morning was wonderful. Oh yep. Yep. And after 140k of road riding, we're up back on the Arizona Trail. So I think, like, in my mind, this is almost like the Three Sisters Trail, which is like, it was connecting all those zones. Ultimately, that's what's happened here, is yep. the northern zone. Like to uh, Pine or... Yeah, Pine or Payson. for us, Payson. Yeah, is the north end. Yeah. From here, Picket Post South is the south end. Yeah. And in between... Is the wilderness zone. Yeah. So it's probably great if you're a hiker. Yeah, oh, I'm sure it's beautiful. Things look dark. Things are looking a little lighter now. Yeah, and we're hoping that tomorrow night we're going to be able to order pizza. I got a whole bunch of gas station food. I got some mini donuts. I got a bunch of meat and cheese sticks. I got some chunky chili, which is heavy, but I think worth it. I got teriyaki chicken, peanut M&M's. Some burritos and two slices of pizza. Total gas station food. All right, it's uh, five thirty. And we're gonna get an early start here today on day 13 because it's today's supposed to be really hot. Today's supposed to be uh, all single track. Yeah, mountain biking. Go, Johnny, go!
rainwater collector, which is the best idea ever. It's got shade. Yes. It has sweet, sweet water. Yeah, this comes right out of a tap. It comes out of a tap. But this is the only one on the Arizona Trail. As far as I know of. Yeah. Uh, it's a great idea. Is there someone you can argue with? They will catch you if you fall. Someone else that you can talk to. Is there a neighbor you can call? Because there's a cancer in our children. And we put it in their mouth. Boys and all the waterways and choke the air to death. Stacking bodies at the gates to get a glimpse For it is ultimate salvation Without the troubles of the poor When not one question lingers There's an answer and a cure bottom of the trail and we've ended up here in a the Gila River. You don't pronounce the G G? I don't know, maybe. It's an oasis though. We're gonna grab some lunch before continuing on and obviously some water. Oh It's like 39 degrees. That's what Garmin says. It's really hot. It's late. We've been riding a long time. It's starting to take its toll on us, but... It's been a gorgeous trail. Yeah, it's been just really just the heat. Yeah. Yeah, trail is... 
almost all rideable. Yeah. I see buildings down there. With any luck, they're 4K away, and that is the Department of Transportation, which is where we're gonna order a pizza. Is this pizza? No pizza. We ordered pizza for delivery from Ray's Junction. So we're taking advantage of this time. Let me tell you, the <laughs> mixture of sunscreen and salt, it's feeling pretty awesome at this moment. Some of the nicest trail I've ridden ever. Yeah, there is some fantastic trail in here. Like the last little bit kind of stretched on. I think that was largely due to the heat. Yeah, it, it was really hot. It was really hot. Or something. Yeah. Oh, could this be our pizza? How yeah. you doing? <laughs> Good. How you doing? Good. You got pizza for us? Yes, sir. This is awesome. I hope you don't mind me videoing, but no, you're good. We don't normally get pizza delivered on the side of a trail in the middle of nowhere. We'll say thanks to your dad. All right, two pies. And a little bit of light. How is it? Really good. All right. Let's eat and then go. Nice, good day. Ten and a half hours, 60 kilometers, and we climbed. Climbed 1,600 meters. 1,600 meters, not bad. I drank at least 10 liters of water today, and I peed like three times. It was hard today, but it's been hard every day. It's beautiful here. Can I touch you to see if y'all are real? We're getting an even earlier start than we did yesterday just because of the heat. So it's 5 a.m. Got a lot of climbing again today. Most of the rest of the trip we're climbing. Another beautiful night in the desert though. Holy smokes, it's so nice out here. I was thinking last night there, Johnny. What were you thinking, Ben? We did a 58 kilometer segment yesterday. Yeah. There's nothing like that back home. Is to the other side with the time you can get to the riverside and see the valley rise sorrow a joy. Which do you like? If that's the choice. Heads up, it's really steep. I just went OTB. <sighs> Face first into a rock. Oh, man. Thankfully, I got my hands out, but uh, if I wasn't as strong as I am, uh, that would have been. You're amazingly strong. <laughs> yeah, I went right into that fucker. A little bit of blood. But not too bad. But the sand just sucked it up and in slow motion I just went Ugh. A chain link fence pressing into your hands But I'll get you all up and over it Cause I want nothing between us I wanna dance with you that's what I want to do. 
I wanna dance with you. I wanna see your body move. I got fuzzied. Oh. Where's Johnny? Where's Johnny? Where's Johnny? Just hang it out with my people. <laughs> I miss our younger years I stretch To touch Smoke up the cavalier Like a chain link fence pressing into your hands, but I got you now. So what are we doing here, Johnny? We are topping up water, Freeman Trailhead, about to enter the Black Hills section. We're drinking at least a liter every hour. Yeah, which pounding. is easier when the trail actually you feel like you're making progress. Yeah. When the trail's slow, you don't want to take the time to eat. Now, can I, I think I might have a tick. I'm looking at Ben's ass. Okay, no? It must have just been a rock. So much gore. So much gore. How's your blood looking today? I had a good bleeder on my left hand. Are you doing the three or the eight? The eight. Good, Good for you, you, dude. It's been a grueling trip, <laughs> but I'm sure yours nothing compared to yours. I'm so early. What's your name? Nate. Nate. I'm Ben. This is Johnny. Hey, guys. Yeah, but I don't know about the drop bars, dude. That you is intense. Use a bike to carry on your back. So. Yeah, and you're rigid. You're a maniac, dude. You're rigid. No. Yeah. We'll see. I'm not sure it was the smartest choice. Oh, I was regretting the hardtail, but... <laughs> All right, well, you go get him, man. All right. Have a good enjoy one. Enjoy the rest of the trail. Yes. You probably heard us oh. scream out on the trail. Oh, fuck! Or mention the words, cat claw. My number one... Uh, that thing was catwalk. Perhaps the words we've said the most. <laughs> and even, and then when people talk about the trail, the thing they talk, talk about the most. The cat claw, the idea that it's a very wet year, it's been a very wet year comparatively down here, encouraged the plants to grow. And cat claw likes to grow, the trail's an open space. So it's growing into the sun. That's the open space. Yes. And you look at it and you're like, well, that doesn't look so bad. No, it's like a little, plant. little ferny things. Yeah. I just hooked my finger right there. But if you look under the ferny thing, are these incredibly sharp little claws, just like a cat's claw. Yeah. And they hook, like they're hooked. So once it hooks on you, it doesn't come out until it tears out. Yeah. Um, it, like I can't let go of it now. It's grabbing <laughs> onto me. 
Um, it's the devil to push for sure. Yeah, and to push through, once you get a few of those latch into your clothes. Yeah, it stops you. It stops you, and it's the reason our legs and hands and everything. Yeah, you've the way seen. They do. You've seen our legs. Um, it's because of this little devil plant. Yeah. And I love cats. The, na the nasty dark side of the cat. The dark side of the cat. Yeah. <laughs> Cat claw. Cat claw. You can see it all along here. It's basically almost the only thing green that grows on the side of the trail. So we've just learned to dodge everything. <laughs> it's just one of many hazards. Yeah, it's like technical climbing. You have to figure out where the rocks are, where the steep loose bitches are, and where the cat claw is, and then try to plot a route between all of those things. Yep. Day 14 was a pretty good day. Yeah. Yeah. We. Uh, we woke up really early, maybe even too early. Yep. Five maybe. was too early. Tomorrow, 5.15. 5.15. And uh, started to see the racers. Yeah, we did one, start one to see One of them races. supposedly passed us in the night, Kurt. Yeah. En route to crushing the 300. And what you got for dinner here? Ramen <laughs> and sausages in it. And it looks like it's going to be another beautiful night in the desert. Yep. Hopefully we don't get mobbed by cows. Yeah, hopefully we don't. There is this very entrenched cow trail between our two tents. Another good day, dude. Another good day. Johnny, day 15, going to Oracle. <laughs> going to Oracle. Nicely chilly this morning. Yeah, it's cold. It's nice to be back in the cold. Hopefully we bang out this first giant climb. 1,300 meters. Before it gets <laughs> too hot. Again. Yeah. Let's get it. Thank you, tank. Thanks, tank. We need water from this tank. And the water comes down from a spring. We're well up there and drips into this tank. But the issue we had you had to stand up here and wait for the water to fill up your bag so I tied this one on and we've been using it as our water collection system worked pretty well yeah boy up up and away that's a good time to start the morning hi hi there's Mount Lemon where we're headed Today, to the base of. It's great having the racers packed on all that grass. Oop. Johnny just got a cactus in the hand. Don't think he's happy. We're doing the eight, but we're southbound. Uh, when do you start? Uh, this is day 15 for us. Oh. What's your name? I'm Zach. Zach, I'm Ben, that's Johnny. Ben, nice to meet you, Zach. Another big brown tank. Big brown tank. Here, someone has very kindly created a water staff. Water staff. So the trick is you go up this ladder which is welded in place oh better scary. than the other one yeah it's not nearly as scary fill the water staff boom water lower it down to your friend thanks friend hey how's it going are you guys southbounding we are cool where'd you start we started at uh the utah border oh cool what are you doing just going to picket post you're doing the 300 yeah i'm ben this is johnny hi johnny hi ben Nice to, nice to meet you. How's your race going? Jackson. Uh, I caught a bar to the sternum on dawn of morning two. Oh, crap. And almost quit, but then I didn't. Yeah. It feels okay until I... Breathe? Flex too hard trying okay. to get over a rise or anything.
Hello, look at that big old cacti. Tuss, whatever. In the wash. And then back out. What's up, cows? You can stay seated. I ain't gonna eat you yet. I uh, I got my Halloween costume already on there, uh, Johnny. Oh yeah. Yeah, going as a Arizona Trail through through biker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Certain point, my legs will just be scratches. I know. It's pretty good. It's like a tour of hilarity. We just finished the Black Hills Trail, which was like 40k. Again, long trail set, like that's on Trail Forks, 40k trail. And we finished 1,000 meters of climbing before lunch, before noon. So it's pretty good. We're going to roll into Oracle. Sounds like we're going to be able to get some lunch there. Burger and fries is what Johnny's thinking, and I like the way he's thinking. This is my burger from lunch that I have yet to eat. It looks like you have a lovely sandwich there. It's humongous. Today, we were Frodo and Sam going through the Black Hills of Mordor. <laughs> <laughs> they just went on and on. Into the wash. Out, out of the wash. wash. If you go into the wash today, you're in for a big surprise. If you go into the wash today, you might never see the rise. For every desert trail there was will kill your speed forever because dismay, it's loose and sandy and sadistic. Repeat. We made it a little of the ways up Mount Lemon. Another like 1400 meter climbing day. It's, it's, They're becoming normal. Bumped into a lot of bike packers. Yeah. All who wanted to talk, which is yeah. surprising because I thought they were racing. <laughs> it's a casual race. Yeah. And today was Halloween and we're going to have a fire tonight. We, and we actually finished at three. So we were able to yes. do a few catch up chores. Yeah, yes. Bon appetit. Okay, so all night and now all morning, a truck will drive by and drive through this gate. And then five minutes later, the truck will come back up. It's really weird. Johnny's latest, his theory is that it's a meth lab. But uh, today is day 16 and we are going to uh, climb Mount Lemon. Biggest single climb on the 
Well, except for the Grand Canyon. Except, yeah, everything is except for the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Asterix, except for the Grand Canyon. <laughs> we are going the opposite way of the race route. Now, the race route goes up a road and then comes down trail. We're going to do the same. We're, we're going to go up a road and then go down trail. But it does mean that we get to miss Oracle Ridge. Which every rim. racer that we talk to says has not fared well because yeah. of the fire. Yeah. So, it sounds a lot like Pine Mountain eroded and bushed in. Yeah, we're going to pass on that, but you can do it. Uh, we're, we're making a decision that works for us. If, uh, <laughs> if you don't like that, you, by all means, you can do it. But it seems like a win-win to me. Yep. All right. Let's as, go. as much of a win-win as a 1,200-meter climb can be. Another 1,200-meter climb that we're going to hopefully knock off before noon. Before noon. Have lunch up at some place. Ever winter, Green, ever summer. Winter, summer... Green, it's like ever, green. ever winter. Every person we've talked to has called the town at the top of Mount Lemon something different. Yeah. Oh, here comes another meth head. head yeah that person's got a bag over their head going down to maybe uh <laughs> sycamore academy <laughs> yes this is rite of passage that's the rite of passage We're at the cookie cabin. Yeah, we are. Top Mount Lemon. That's the biggest cookie I've ever seen. Yep. Oh, yeah. By far. That's my hand, just for reference. That's a big old cookie. Just climb Mount Lemon. As pleasant as a 1,200 meter climb could be. Yeah. We're alive, we're alive. Best road running I've ever done. Hands down. Hands down. Super fun. If I could just do downhill twisty descents, yeah, I would be a road rider. <laughs> yeah, we get road bikes. Maybe we should get some road bikes and just run Shut shuttles. <laughs> hey, after a nice burn down, we're back on the Arizona Trail to ride some of the select bike parts. This one, Bug Springs, ironically, starts with a 15 minute hike a bike. Uh, uh, and 
things. Now we're going to go down. I'm going to chase Johnny down and we're going to ride slow and in controlled and just enjoy ourselves. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> you maniac. That is not taking it easy. It's so hard for the that <laughs> you have to. Um, I think the trail's down there. <sighs> nice line. Yeah, boy. That was a fun experience. <laughs> it was pretty funny. You have a safety chain? Dude, how you doing? I am uh, alive. There's a beautiful sunrise this morning here in Tonque Verde. Bring me up to speed to where we are. Last, I think we spoke we talked to the cookie shack and we, people would have seen us go through Bug Spring, but we haven't given an update from that point on. Well, we got to Tucson, Tonque Verde. Yeah. Decided we should treat ourselves to a hotel. But yes. We not spend too much. No, we did. We were cheap. We're so, cyclists. No matter what we paid, it was too much. <laughs> I mean, I guess a cigarette burn on the bedspread is okay, but I wasn't expecting one on the sheet. I'm pretty sure that's blood on the ironing board. And there's a hole into the apartment above there. I'm sure they're gonna get to that wet board soon. Forced entry into the bathroom. Well, you can't steal that that toilet seat. It's unique. This was a Dexter. Uh, yeah. The person was stabbed and was falling, and the bloody <laughs> hand streaked across the lamp here. Dude, we should get the scorp light, the UV light. I, I thought about it, and I did not want to. <laughs> we went for dinner last night. Nice Italian restaurant. I failed at water yesterday. I got to the top of the mountain, I was like, I don't need any more water. I think I drank three to four liters of water yesterday. We rode 100K and climbed 2,000 meters. <laughs> in hot sun. Yeah, in Arizona. And from now on, yes. water gets scarcer and temperatures probably get hotter, so. Yeah, I look at the forecast, it's gonna get hot. Let's not be stupid. Let's not be stupid. Except in the good way. Yes. Toss and turn. I'm late for work again. But I'm feeling good. Yeah, cause I just got stoned to think I'm quitting my job today. I'm gonna get my tips and then I'm gonna walk away. Gonna get Howdy, partners. Maybe take some time off to learn. So Johnny, 
you remember yesterday, day 16? Vaguely. Bug Springs. Bug Springs. Good we job. had a chat. Yeah, take it easy. Take it easy. And, th and then what did you do? I lost her to flat a couple of times. And what ended up happening? I broke a spoke. Yeah, you did. There it is. Yep. Johnny doesn't listen. I loosened some off. I tightened some. <laughs> it's good enough. We had a whole talk about it, Johnny. Well, even the spank Uzi's ability to run on 31 spokes, maybe even 30. <laughs> as long as they're not in the same spot. Yeah, the traffic is stuck in your act and not so long. But babe, I know you're stressed. Yes, I am too. Lately, I've been thinking that maybe if we wanted to, well, we could take a trip. Ooh, yeah, we could rock down in Texas. Okay, the end of day 17. You can see I'm set up over here. Picnic table, fire pits. We're gonna have a fire over there tonight, hopefully. Johnny's seeking refuge from the sun over here. Let me show you this. Pomegranate tree. Got some pomegranates here. Go before I. Tastes pretty good. There you go, buddy. Yep. The pomegranate, I believe, was considered an aphrodisiac wow. in the 17th century. <laughs> <laughs> my family wrote a note for every day. Uh, here's one from my dog, Jube Jube, uh, where he says, uh, woof, woof, slobber, bark, woof, woof, woof. This one's my favorite, though, because it really captures the Arizona Trail so far, which it says, what uh, goes up must come down and then back up again, which has been the theme. You can even see a mountain there. But this has been super helpful. Uh, I read one of these every night um, before I pass out. And uh, even though it is a lot of weight, it is worth it. Nice to know that the family is rooting for me. It's definitely something that uh, keeps myself and I know it keeps Johnny going uh, when things get a little dark. Our second fire of the trip. Lucky us. There's crickets happening galore. There's a pretty great sunset happening. We already saw a bat, we saw hummingbirds, we ate pomegranates. Pretty good day, man. There's <laughs> something to be said for quitting at 2.30. Yeah. Down into the wash. What a great way to start day 18. All right, day 18. The goal today is to get to Kentucky camp. Hopefully we make it. I'm the call at one, but you just want to visit. I'm the call for some kind of like an exit to your main girl, to your main girl, to your main girl. I'm the call at two, but I know you never ask, because I've been the one you assume will last. Past your main girl, past your main girl, past your main girl. Now I'm just a pretty face who can help you. Just a pretty face who can help you. Get your shit together in your own head. Don't leave me hanging on. You misunderstood me on a lot longer. I hate the no gain. And I'm a fool to love the pain. Down here at Twin Tank, there's actually a loon, at least one loon. There are a lot of things 
crawling away from me when I walk. <laughs> Check out what's in that spider web. Man, that's, that's got feathers. set up here. Yep. Want to walk me through it? Sure. So we got a big tank here full of water. Monolith. And it looks like there's an electric pump because we actually have power over here. So okay. this is already on. I'm going to trust I'm just going to leave it on auto for now. Okay. So with that, then we go down to this trough. I would prefer not to drink out of here. Yeah, I prefer not to drink out of here too. But you've got a float system kind of like in your toilet. Yeah. And if you feel down here, uh, you can actually, there's an outlet. Okay. And if I push this float down, I can feel water coming out of this outlet. Okay. So somebody has grabbed this old piece of pipe. Yes. And if I put this over the outlet and I push down on this float. Oh. Clean water. Boom. Chairs. Oh my. Thank you, Cooper. This is the best cooler I have ever come across. Gee whiz. I'm kind of excited to open it. I'm kind of excited to open it too. You ready? I am ready. Are those Twinkies? Those are Twinkies. Amazing. Here's PBRs. Here's PBRs. Well, grab a chair. Let's take five. Hmm. Cooper's the best. The Cooper. The Cooper. Yes. A man. Or woman. Or woman. Non binary. We got water at Kentucky Camp. We were hoping to camp there because that's where we're camping it, but it's a bed and breakfast. And so now we are racing the sun, trying to find a place to camp. All right, we're camped in a wash. Because you can't camp at Kentucky camp. And we had a big day. How far did we go, Johnny? Uh, 65, 67 60, kilometers. 67 K. Which doesn't sound that big, but there was, uh, 1800 meters of climbing in there 1800 meters of climbing all trail 100 percent trail Except it seemed like about 12 meters of descending yeah oh my god it was it was a big climb there yeah it was a big climb day there was some rough there was some rough trail in there rough trail some cat claw we're back in scratched up land <laughs> yeah good day 
Good day. Good Rest day. Rest day yesterday. Yeah. Meant we was able to do a good day today. Yeah, and we rode smart today. We pounded water the whole day. We're about to be attacked by something. Yeah. All right. It dropped below zero because my chamois is frozen solid. The sun is rising on what could be our last full day. Yeah, day 19, dude. <laughs> this is now silly. <laughs> We're gonna go ride to Sonoida, get our last resupply of the trip. And then tackle the Canelo Hills, which are a complete mystery. Well, they're 45 kilometers of black. Yeah, sawtooth, it looks like. Yeah, it's going to be rough. I'm expecting to go down into a wash. <laughs> I thought I'm going to come out of a wash. I'm expecting to be hiking significant portions of today. All right, day 19. We pushed up from the frozen canyon that we are in through thorny brush. All right, day 19 off to a rough start. There's a pretty crappy section of trail up right out of where we were camped. So some hike a bike through some cat claw. And then we uh, took the wrong turn. Of course, we had to turn around and go uphill. So we've gone maybe 2K in about an hour and a half. One of your dogs is not like the other. You're right. <laughs> a little more speckled. Hi. Wow, beautiful. Day, yeah, you too. All right, we're in Sonoita. Got restocked in Sonoida, heading down to the trail. Who knows, maybe this is awesome. That was a great reroute, dude, taking us through Sonoida like that. Thank you. Yeah, through these death sticks. All right, so aggressive Johnny has broken another spoke. This one with climbing power. <laughs> I was not hucking. Dude, get away from me. Oh my, where's it rubbing? <laughs> We're still good. Well, this has been a great trail so far. Uh, kudos to the trail builder. <laughs> Even though we've been going nonstop up now. This one is lifting our spirits. Yes. All right, still on the same connector trail, but we have lost the advantage of trail work. Keep an eye up for some cat claws. Well, things have gone from bad to worse. It's just chalk. Yeah, that section sucked. It's like... I kind of feel sorry for people that live in Arizona and ride, because most of this trail has been abusive. <laughs> yep. I mean, look at, the, look at that bastard just sitting there. Okay, so we're starting to piece things together. We think that perhaps this trail doesn't even exist yet. It's just been scratched in and the riders have kind of been breaking it in, which is why there's this flagging tape. Because it just, it's so unlike what we were just riding that it doesn't add up. Which explains why it's not on trail forks. So apologies to everybody that we were bad mouthing. It still sucks, but <laughs> you kind of understand why. Racers shortcut this path that we just rode through that looks like this. Had they not shortcutted, that's the trail. That trail literally goes through there. You can see the orange flagging tape. They beat all that down 
Yeah. Thank you. You've like, yeah. Without you. Oh my God. I would be a hundred times unhappier than I am right now. And that's saying something. <laughs> yeah. Oh my, I can't believe that's the trail. I can't believe that's what the racers have packed down. It could be worse, Johnny. It could always be worse. Yep. Okay. We are on the official Canelo trail. Now we finished that bypass and our fingers are crossed for a great trail. It's just all cat claw. The Canelo Hills. Quickly racking up to be our least favorite section of the Arizona Trail. This trail is just all cat claw. The downs you can't enjoy because of the cat claw. The ups you can't do because of the cat claw. All I've been doing is looking out for cat claw. Oh, super frustrating. So day 19, bit of a beast. Good day to get done. Good day to get done, yeah. Fierce were down. Yeah, we were pretty angry. It was, it was pretty hot, it was angry. It hurt. It, yeah, and we were in pain. Yeah, it hurt a lot. It's gonna hurt a lot when we go and wash right now. <laughs> yeah. Now we got some water and yep. got a campsite. Yep. And we got one day left. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> we have what I have one day left in me. <laughs> all right, down here at the pond, cleaning out all the cat claw from today. It stings. Really did a number, that cat claw. Boom. There you go, Gandalf. Boom. That grass catches pretty good. It's amazing. It's a low fire hazard right now. That is an awesome bank of corals. Like you have, you could yeah. Get quality cooking on that. Well, yeah, have you cook as a slim jim. <laughs> Our first hike a bike of the morning. We're going straight up today. Everybody's got a little secret. Baby, I'll tell you mine. Bring yourself just a little bit closer. A stranger in the night. Something good can be hard to swallow. The simple paradise. Slow down if you want to be my lover. New touch, new life. Oh, oh, oh. 
very rare sight. It's enough to make you want to dip your taint in here. <laughs> All right, so a bit of a hack. Bit of a hack, the knee warmers turned upside down. Yeah. Saving the shins. Game changing. Should have done this days ago. We probably would have been much happier people. Yeah, this is great. You just basically turn them upside down so that the part that is normally here, instead of it coming up, goes that way. You tuck them into your socks, boom. We've been riding through, not a lot of cat claw. But enough. But enough to realize that it doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> How did you find uh, the eastern section of Canelo Hills versus the western section? The section we rode today yeah. was beautiful trail. It was actually one of my favorite trails of the whole trip. Yep, definitely right up there. Lots of rebuilds. It reminded me that we actually like riding our bikes. Yep. So thank you trail builders for that section. And so now we have just here on the map, so we have ridden all of this and we are here. There's another wilderness section here, so we are we have to detour that. Bikes aren't allowed there. So now we are going to ride the remaining, I don't know what it is, 25K down to the ball, the end of the Arizona Trail. You also found some trail magic? Yeah. Got this balloon here. It says, it's your day. And then underneath there, we have some visine and some unmarked pills. So this seems like the best idea in the world. Let's do it. To finish off the trip. Yeah, on a trip. On a trip. We've climbed up. And as Johnny just pointed out, we are now looking into Mexico. Dude, we're looking into Mexico, baby. Woo! All right, so one of the stresses we've had since hitting the road is water. But it looks like we have found some great water. <clears throat> Pound bottles, keeping us alive. Still going up, endlessly. I can't believe this is a fucking end. Dude, this is the fucking weakest finish. Just a total kick in the teeth. What an anticlimactic piece of shit. I can't believe this is the end. It's a fitting end. All right, we are at the end. That's Mexico. We just rode down five kilometers straight downhill. We have to now go back up. We're done. Woo! All right, so we made it to mile zero, the end of the Arizona Trail and the end of a 20 day journey, sort of. The end, but not quite. High fives. High fives.
The wall isn't as impressive as I thought. No, the wall's a piece of shit. Just kind of like <laughs> the end of this trail. <laughs> it's crazy to think that's how this trail ends. That was part of the trip. That would, this is real talk on yeah. bike back in the Arizona Trail. <laughs> All right, so, uh, okay, we're gonna let that guy have his temper tantrum up in one of these corners. Uh, he obviously has some things he needs to work out. Not the moment I think he was looking for uh, at the end. But we are here a day later. Um, we have uh, experienced some fantastic magic here in Sierra Vista. I love Sierra Vista. Tell us about it. After everything happened, there was some tension between Ben and I as to what we should do next. Yes. Should we sleep? Should we bike all the way to Sierra Vista? I didn't want to bike. I was. I just wanted to. It was done. I was done. He wanted to get the hell out. I, I wanted to be done a different <laughs> way. I, I wanted to actually be done done. Yes. We got cell phone coverage. For the first time in like four days. For the first time in four days. Came around the mountains. Got a U-Haul. Super friendly U-Haul guy. Like that Damn. side of the highway. All right, Johnny's making reservations for U-Hauls on the side of the highway while I try and hitchhike. He's successful, I am not. Isaac and Adam took great care of us. Isaac and Adam at uh, the Sierra Vista U-Haul were amazing. Okay. We have a guy that sits up there in it all day long. Come on. He watches everything. There's a dude up there? Mm -hmm. yeah. Life was looking up. So we're, we're like, all right, we're biking a U-Haul. Mostly downhill. Mostly downhill. There was... Um, For real this time? <laughs> <laughs> we're going past the light. We see a road biker. Roadie. Like, and we're like, we, you know how we feel about roadies. <laughs> He pulls up beside us, he starts asking us a few questions. How's it going? Oh yeah, I did that. Damn. Where are you staying tonight? We're like, we don't know. We didn't know. No. And he's like, well, I have a guest house. Do you want to stay there? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. that was the answer. Yeah. Yes. Dude, this is, this is the best. <laughs> I am in a state of disbelief. Yes. Continuously. I must still be sleeping halfway in the trail somewhere. <laughs> If you please meet Adam, who is so generous uh, and is letting us stay at his yep. guest house, which is bigger than my house. Congrats, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Congrats. man. This is, this is the best. This yeah. is the real reward for this is the reward. Reward. Yeah. Where does Adam rank in the trail magic uh, category? Because we have Adam at the last day, and then we had Alan, Alan on the second day who saved our butts. We kind of had two mega angels on this. Oh trip. yeah, like two, like when we were at our lowest. Yeah, they were both really the Arizona Trail points. provided angels. Angels. Thank you both Alan and Adam. Yeah, like, like you really this trip would literally have been very different without yeah, the two of you. Yeah. We wanted to talk about what are our five favorite things and our five least favorite things about the Arizona Trail. So my number five. Yes, number five. My number five worst thing about the Arizona Trail. Yes. Was our hotel in Tucson. Oh, yeah, that was a roach motel. Yeah, yeah, like like we wanted to use that as a rest day. It was not a good time. With the whole time we were at the restaurant, we wanted to get back to the hotel, motel, because we thought it was, all our stuff was going to get <laughs> stolen. <laughs> I'm going to get this one right out of the way. It's the ending of the Arizona Trail. You know, making us as bikers go somewhere different uh, than the, the hikers um, just felt like we were kind of second class citizens. And I'm going to leave it at that. Yep. And I'm going to, at this point, just say that's my number two. Oh, okay. I wanted this to be a euphoric moment. It was like, blah. Number four was the beginning of the Arizona Trail. <laughs> All right. It ended up being funny. Yes. To get the shuttle to the middle of nowhere to start the trail. In the Hyundai accent. In the Hyundai accent. And then we climbed all day and it was cold and I cramped. Up until the point we met Alan, the first two days were, weren't great for me. Nope. I'm right there with you. Uh, my number three, uh, same criticism as you, if you watch our Colorado Trail. Uh, a lot of times it just felt like we were riding a hiking trail. This uh, Arizona Trail was better on gradient than Colorado Trail, but none of that counts for anything if a switchback is too tight to turn. Yeah, that was my number one. The trail itself was my number one. It is a hiking trail. With, with some exceptions, but those exceptions actually kind of made it highlighted the bad parts. And there were some parts that just frankly were neglected. The trail is a means to an experience. It's not necessarily um, 
means that the, tr the whole trip sucked. It just meant that the trail wasn't great. All right, yeah. your last one, because I've already done my number one. My number one uh, bad thing was cat claw. <laughs> I, I think I'm, well, I've definitely physically scarred from cat claw, and, I'm, and I might be mentally scarred, where I'm actively avoiding anything green anything with vegetation yeah totally um so those were the bad but it wasn't all bad there were lots of great moments uh so uh let's go to the good that you start this time okay uh my first thing i want to talk about are the desert nights this to me was the magic of the whole trip we got to spend a lot of time either in our sleeping bag cozy and looking at stars or just sleeping sitting. bags we didn't share one <laughs> yes also nice. on my list sure. okay you go next finishing Oh, that was mine too. All right, yeah, it's like finishing. It's like doing it, doing it. Actually, just getting it done. We accomplished something here. We rode the trail. We rode it in a different direction than most people ride it. We actually rode strong. The Grand Canyon climb out. I was uncertain when we woke up that morning that we were going to be able to do it. And we didn't just do it, we crushed it. And it, it just like reaffirmed our capabilities. Uh, that, that is a moment that I am going to keep with me for the rest of my life. Yep. I also... So I, I had the, I, too? Oh, yeah, I had All the right. whole... The, just Grand Canyon in general. Like, one, it's gorgeous. Yes. It was tough to see because with the tump strap, I was mostly staring at the ground. <laughs> yes. But every now and then I would look up and it's truly gorgeous. It really is. Um, and just coming out of it, you felt like a superstar. Yeah. Like, because people saw the work we were doing carrying those bikes. And everyone, like, we got called badass probably a hundred times. Yeah, and that's yeah. not an exaggeration. It was pretty cool. And just feeling like a hero, even though you're doing the stupidest thing possible. That was always my response. Like, you're doing something awesome. I'm like, I'm doing something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I love the picket post section. Pick oh, post dude, our list is almost exactly the same. Um, I thought, one, the direction we rode it in. I think we rode the trail in the right direction. Yeah, it's better southbound. The start's hard, the end's hard, but the middle, I would say, is so much better. The flow is better. Um, but that picket post to Kearney section, gorgeous, well-built trail. Again, it was rideable trail. It had been maintained. We ended with pizza. Yeah. Like that day for a section that most people that go south to north describe as like one of the worst days and they have to wake up super early to do, do it at night. Do it at night. Like um, for me, that was the, like the riding day of the trip. I have Picket Post, Gold Canyon, and uh, Canelo East. Those I kind of yep. smash those into three things. Those are my three favorite days of riding. And yeah. uh, I would totally agree. I'm going to go last. Okay. And I'm the last one. This guy. Not being uh, able to really put it into words, but you know, Johnny was always there. 95% of the time we got along swimmingly. I was like 99. Well, I, maybe not get along, sorry. Yep. We were all on the same page. Yep. And then, you know, you would have a low moment or I would have a low moment. And yeah. for the most, <laughs> until the yesterday where it got a little iffy when we were both having low moments. Yep. Um, the other person was there, and so I just, you know, dude. Yeah. yeah. So glad I got to share this experience yeah. with you. Um, that was also my number one. Oh. Like, I can't imagine doing this with anybody else. And again, that whole notion, like, up until the end, we always balanced each other out. Somebody would be having issues, having a rough day. Throwing so, rocks. <laughs> throwing rocks, doing something. It was okay. Like, this is friendship. Sometimes yeah. friendship is like you get a little upset and you, you, you throw some shit. It was never directed at the other person. No. Right? It was just at the situation. It was yeah. always the situation that was really frustrating. Yeah. And then that was just topped off by, again, we've already touched on this. Like, the people we encountered, just the, the hikers, uh, just people we met in stores, at U hauls. Adam and Alan. Yeah. Like, um, Cooper. Cooper with the amazing cooler. Yeah. That, like, just that's people, anonymous people that are just putting that water there. Yeah, all the water caches. Um, wherever like, you are, thank you. Like, this is, um, that's, that's why you go on these trips. Like, to have an adventure, to meet people, to test your limits, just enjoy being with your friend. Yeah, and that's, uh, have a moment that you're gonna be able to look back on for the rest of your life and be like, yeah, I did that. Yeah. So, I'm yeah. pretty badass and yeah. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, high fives. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. 
And if you made it this far, congratulations. Just, That's just as a, an accomplishment as uh, the trail itself. Yeah. And that, <laughs> there's one thing we forgot, um, and that is thank you to our families and loved ones okay. <laughs> for letting us do this trip uh, and actually probably carrying us throughout the trip. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for giving us the time. Speechless with gratitude to my family. Love you guys. Love you.